How many people read poetry? That's a lot. Well, one of the great poets, Robert Frost, he said, a poem begins as a lump in the throat, a sense of wrong, a homesickness, a love sickness. It finds the thought, and the thoughts find the words. Well, see, for me, poetry is, is like a voice. See, when there's a dam that's in front of you where you can't express how you feel and, and, and you just want to tell the world so many things, you want to express that you feel this homesickness, you want to express that you have a love sickness, and you want to express so many things, but you don't know how to communicate these things, so they build and they build and they build, and that dam stays right there, and it just keeps going and going, but then something has to be released. And see, for me, poetry allows me to release all those pent-up emotions, all those longings and yearnings and everything else that I want to express in my life. So I wrote this poem. I wrote this poem as a way to explain to the world how I feel, to express my gratitude, my forgiveness. As the tear silently seeps from my eye, I stop to think and ask, why do I cry? Can it be for me? No, it must be for you. And you never forgotten loved ones too. To the victims of vicious violence, their stories are not one-sided or silent. It speaks to the world of senseless fools who purge their demons to bring anew. I cried for you, now I cry for me. A boy that was is not the man to be. Like the phoenix rising from damnation's ashes, I'm to rise from the state of madness. A chance for redemption is what I ask. Visions for the future while atoning for the past. I cried for you. I cried for me. Now when I cry, I cry to be free. Thank you.